Hey guys, so uh, <clears throat> this short little video is just um, wrapping up a two-part series of uh, the, the videos I made with Dave in his backyard. Uh, the videos were called um, uh, My Computer Hoard in My Backyard or Gold in My Computers in My Backyard, something like that. Uh, I will leave the links down below to the first two episodes. Basically what this video is going to be is to wrap those videos up to uh, show you uh, how much they've made off of those uh, boards that, uh, that we were stripping out of the computers in his backyard with Dan and, and Dave and me. So um, uh, anyway, uh, I apologize in advance, the footage is kind of rough, that's why I wasn't sure if I was going to post it. But uh, a bunch of people were asking me about that those videos, they're like, how much did you make, you know, what, what was the point of all that. So uh, I, I'm gonna put these out. Uh, Dave filmed that by himself. Uh, I was doing a different job, so he filmed it with his iPad. So the quality is a little grainy, but uh, it's not long, so bear with it. It's probably shorter than this freaking intro. So I'm gonna stop talking, let you guys watch that, so you can find out how all of that adventure wrapped up. So uh, thank you for that, and stay tuned for other videos. There's already a bunch of other stuff coming out with uh, computers and flea markets and all sorts of stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the outcome of uh, all our labor stripping those computers, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys, peace. The motherboards. We have some truck parts. In there. You can talk as you're going. I know. Uh, no, the problem is the grass. You're stuck in the grass right there. Well, it's all the motherboards. I would say 300 pounds. I have a few in there already. Why don't you pull your truck up? You want me to pull your truck up? It'd be a lot easier. Well, it's the cobblestone. There we go. So, so far, I only got that little bit in this box. We're gonna put, we're gonna put that into the box. Um, I got the hard drive loaded up. A bunch of the slot cards. I have uh, three. Three baskets of slot cards, four, four uh, bins of hard drives. Um, in the truck, this is my uh, memory. There's about, hopefully, 20 pounds. Um, but we'll see if everything fits. See that underneath is wh where the other slot cards are. Uh, it'll, it'll be interesting because I still have to put the power supplies on. Um, all right, so these are all the, this is a communications board, they're worth more, I'm just going to put that on top. So, basically what we're, uh, the way they take it, I always, you have to take out the battery, you guys saw us do that, and then you have to take off any of the aluminum or the metal pieces on the back, so see how this one still has screws. I got that one. I just have to drill off those screws. So I'm gonna put it aside. This one's fine. Yeah. Like. Well, this looks like a battery. Right it? now, right here is a battery actually. So that will pop right out. I'll just put that on the side. And we're just doing double check. One or two batteries are not gonna reject the load, but they ask for none. They. What happens is they can catch on fire in the box. That's good. And uh, one of the reasons why you don't want to store all these at your house, I'm sure my insurance company wouldn't wouldn't let me wouldn't pay out. I need that. That has the piece of aluminum. So this is what we have in so far. See this aluminum? They don't want that either. This piece. Right? That's fine. And no, it's this this black. Yeah. So that it's gonna go right here. another back I don't know we, we've definitely double checked these two or three times so that's an older board that's shit you have hundreds of so 
the ones that are on the side do not have to go in right now. What about this guy? This one? This one has a lot of stuff to it. Let me see that one. It looked like there was a... I just have to unclip that. figure out how much they spent on uh, just engineering these boards. Engineering plus engineering manufacturing. These look nice. There's no batteries on these. No? No battery. Alright, so we finally emptied that. Um, I'm going to go clean this right now before, before we leave, but I'll give you the total of stuff we have. There's, you know, the 20 pounds of memory. You got all these uh, CPUs. I pay I pay like three bucks each for CPUs. Um, memory or anything with a gold uh, edge. Um, I pay like five bucks a pound. So uh, like probably I'll even pay five on this. Um but I'm not 100% sure. Worst thing is it goes the same price as uh, motherboards, and that's like a dollar. If if you have over 100 pounds, I'll do like a little better. Um, I don't know what I buy hard drives for. There's plenty of them. Um, and these just scrap, just because they're too bulky. Uh, but I'll buy, I'll buy hard drive, or I'll buy uh, all the motherboards you have, and I, I know I'll buy hard drives. Um, I think I'm gonna start buying it at the flea market. But I don't know. This is this is the overall look of what we're taking today, and I don't know what it's gonna bring. It'll, it's a, it's actually a really good guess. I would think. In the front seat here, we have 500 bucks, 600 bucks. This is hopefully like 800 bucks. These, hopefully 200 bucks on these, but I, I doubt it. That means I'd need a uh, thousand pounds. I don't have a thousand pounds of those. Um, the hard drives, I have no clue what I'm gonna get. And maybe these, another, 400 bucks the slot cards because I got three three big bags of them or three big boxes of them I don't know I'll show you guys the receipt in a little bit and we'll see what happens I still have a little bit more to pick up but um, that's about it I got about an hour before I got to get there all right peace all right so I finally made it here um, it's actually not that big a load, so it'll be interesting what happens. This is where I got to go drop it off on the other side of that, so we'll see what happens. Um, all right, I got to go check in with the security guard, but you can see there's not really that much stuff compared to the size of the pile that we were dealing with. All right, peace. I'll be back with the check and let you know what. So this is the final tally. That's eh, fairly depressing. I didn't have as much uh, motherboards, uh, but they gave me a good good price per pound, surprisingly. Um, but I don't know. It's going to be about a thousand dollars altogether. I. Uh, It is what it is. Um, for Naz, I, I did actually bleed just a little bit for him. He always says I never bleed. Um, I guess I would... 
I wouldn't recommend doing this again. It's a pain in the dick. Uh, so we'll see what happens. All right, everybody have a good day. I'll show everybody the check.